steel. With me, your girl, no fuses. We finally made the North Highlands, and now we're riding through this beautiful countryside, trying to head to the village so we can get on with our missions. So let's get on with it. Oh, wait, I can't jump down like a boss off the cliff. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go all the way around. We can dash, right? There we go. That's dashing? <laughs> Echo. <laughs> You're as excited as a child. <laughs> I think I'm just caught up in the moment. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, though. Which way did we go? The plans are so fast that it's surprisingly easy to lose your sense of direction. True, maybe it'll help if I showed you a couple major landmarks to help you get your bearings. Over there at that wing center gate, that's where we set out from. That landmark over there is the Triangular Rock. It is sort of a centerpiece, this part of the highlands. It's so massive. The farther away we see it from, the better of a landmark it'll be. Oh, what's that building over to the left of it? Oh, that is the watchtower built by the Imperial Army in the southeastern part of Highlands. Heard they built it to keep an eye on the propeller out to the east. So that's an Imperial Army watchtower? I suppose it should come as no surprise that the Army would want a watchtower here. True, the Highlands border both Calvert and Erebonia, much like Crossbell. Yup, and finally... If you look towards these mountains, my home is out in that direction. Ah, got you. So let me take another look at the map. Okay, I think I have a better idea of where everything is now. It seems like we ought to keep this map handy until we're more familiar with the highlands though. Come to think of it, where are those stone pillars over there? Oh, now you point them out. I'm surprised I didn't notice them before. They seem man-made, or at the very least, not the sort of structure nature would leave lying about. Those are quite a few similar objects and structures scattered across the highlands. Most folks think that they're what remains of the Nordic civilization that existed here over a thousand years ago. Wow, that's pretty far back. Hmm, I suppose in a way, they're not dissimilar from the animistic ruins in Erebonia. Perhaps not. I'm not surprised you're curious about them, but we should save the discussion for later. Right now, we need to reach the seven for sundown. Right. Okay, let's ride! Like, whenever I dash, all they did was, like, put fast motion lines around it. It was like, here, you're going fast through. Not really. Sun's almost down. We're almost at the settlement. Let's keep up the pace, guys. Yeah. I'm glad there's no stamina up bar for the horse. I can just keep dashing as long as I want. home, huh? Even though I've never been here for it feels logistic somehow. Indeed, the scenery makes me a little wistful for my own home. You can say that again. We just came for your home. You can't be homesick already. Well, we don't actually stay in this area all year round. Sometime between summer and fall, we move to another location further to the north. I guess that's why they call you Nobans then. Is that why you live in the strange tent buildings? Yep. 
be made with thick cloth and designs so we can put them up and take them down pretty easily. Anyway, let me show you to my home first. Then we can go and greet the elder after. Bro! Oh! They're so cute! You finally came back! Welcome home, we missed you! Hey, Lily, Shidi, I'm back. Good to see you looking well, Thoma. Haha, <laughs> glad to meet you back safely. It's good to see you, bro. Thanks. Aw, they really seem to love him. Yeah, watching makes me wish I had a little brother or sister of my own. It does. <laughs> He's like, I don't got any. I have no older brother. Oh, hey, are these people you wrote by your letters? They are indeed. Ush, Strishius. Industrious class seven. Um, it's nice to meet you. I'm b b b guys, it's brother Toma. These are our sisters, Sheeta and Lily. It's nice to meet you. Are you bros friends? Sure are. It's good to meet you too. I'm Reed. I'm Lily. So it's time. It's lovely to meet you. You're all so cute. I'm Emma. This is Alvera. I'm Honor. Wow, y'all seem so. Her body. <laughs> I, I'm glad to see if you've been blessed with such wonderful friends. Oh, are those his parents? Dad, Mom, I'm home. Welcome home, guys. It's a pleasure to finally meet you all. I'm Guys' his mother, Fatima. His mother? But you look so young. I know, she's a babe. <laughs> and they're just looking at her like, dang. You look so young! <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere! I'm Guy's father, Luck and Wurzel. I'm very glad to meet my son's friends and schoolmates. The pleasure is all ours, likewise. I prepared a place for all of you to stay while you're at our guests. There's much to discuss, of course, but you should drop off your belongings there first. It will soon be sundown. Come to my home and share in our evening meal. This is delicious. How'd you get it to taste so good? We season the pheasant meat with herbs and rock salt, then wrap it and cook it. It makes the taste of us Highlanders, so I wasn't sure if you urbans would like it. All I can say is that I'll be wanting seconds soon. These gross screws are really good too. They've got this deep rich flavor. Oh, those are kebabs. We just stick some lamb meat on here and grill it. The food here is exquisite. I'll never taste it. It's like. I am almost so sorry that the rest of our class isn't here to enjoy it. I'm glad you think so. Here I was worried that the taste would not agree with you. <laughs> Everyone loves mommy's cooking. No doubt you're all tired from your long journey. Nor cuisine is affected by easing fatigue. That's important when you travel as much as we do. I can see why. I already feel a little more relaxed. Maybe I should get these recipes so I can teach them to Shannon. Um, try some of the tea too. We make it with local herbs. It's supposed to be good for digestion. Oh, thank you. I think I will. That's a very gentle taste. The land of Nord is nothing if not a free country. I have no doubt your time here will be very unique experience, though not without inconvenience here and there, like a toilet. We have none, we just go out, dig a hole, and squat. <laughs> Still, these highlands have plenty of history with your own homeland. Might you be referring to the story of Emperor Trekles? I've been hearing in class how during the War of the Lines he first started gathering his army in Nord. That's right. Tales of Emperor Dracula's exploits are passed down here in Nord too. After the war ended, he became Emperor of Erebonia and swore internal friendship with the people of Nord. 
That friendship has held strong to this day, and I pray it will continue far into the future. I see, while the people of Nord are not counted as true Erebonians, they are still regarded as our close neighbors and allies. That's about how it shakes out, though recently the cover of Praga has been creeping into the southeastern highlands. They've been trying to provoke good relations with the people here, but the Republic's forays into the highlands have certainly created some tension. The Empire and the Republic are old foes after all. Thankfully, we've managed to avoid any armed conflicts in the last few years. Though politically and economically, relations between the two are only growing worse. It seems likely that Sermon conflict is what led to that incident in Crossbow that month. No doubt an outgrowth of the ongoing conflict between pro calvinian and pro erebonian forces in their governments. So it seems. Be it as it may, to both countries, Nord is remote region of relatively little importance. While there is multi presence in the highlands, that's not something you should have to worry about during your stay. Just try to focus on your field study while you're here. Now we're gonna stick our nose into the business. That's that's what, that's what I'm gonna do. We'll do what we can. You must be the one who chose our task for this month's field study, right? Indeed. Though the hour is already late, I'll give you your task in the morning. As for the area you're covering your study, I think we want to focus on the southwestern plains tomorrow morning. The southwestern? We crossed that area in our trek here today, I believe. Yeah, the highlands are a vast, wide open space. The extent will pass the northern of the southern too, but let's just start with the southwestern plains. Sounds good to me. So everything we've got on the agenda for there will be in the southwest? Exactly. Try and be back at sun around noon, guys. I'll give you the remaining test after midday meal. Got it, Dad. Anyway, here I am talking your ear off when I should be letting you get some rest after your long day. We arise before the sun here, so sleep well. Morning will come sooner than you think. The place we've prepared for you had has beds ready. We can show them the way, guys. Sure thing. I want to show them the way, too. Me, too. Come on, I'm sure Bro can handle it on his own. <laughs> Thank you so much for the meal. Good night, everyone. Sorry, I know you girls probably would have preferred separate rooms, but this is what we've got. Oh, don't worry about it. We're gonna use this book jam after all. We have nothing to worry about it. Hmm, but of course. Uh -huh. Thanks, guys. Are we staying at your family's place then? My sister's both insist on it. I couldn't turn them down. Will it be alright if I come in and wake you guys up at sunrise? Yeah, that sounds fine. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep the more my head is the pillow. By all means, get your beauty sleep. All right, pleasant dreams, everyone. Good night, guys. He's quite the fortunate man. I thought the same thing while we were eating dinner. He's got those adorable siblings, two parents who really care about him. I can see where guys gets his calm little bit of personality. Part of a caring family growing up side by side with nature like this, it's like he couldn't have turned out any other way. Ah, true enough. Anyway, it sounds like we've got an agonizing early wake-up call coming our way. We should get some sleep. No objection for me. I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep on my feet at this rate. <laughs> well, let's get dressed for bed and turn off the lights. <laughs> oh, right. 
Nord Highlands. I feel surprisingly energetic. Maybe it's the clean air or that great food we had yesterday. I wonder if Master Kafai trained out in the wilderness like this. You're up early, Reen. Morning, guys. Man, you changed clothes and everything. Whoa, hold on. Why are you dressed like that? Oh, I was just helping put the sheep out to pasture. They should almost be done fixing the morning meal now. Okay, I guess we should wake up the others then. Yusis, Elisa, Emma. Rise and shine, everyone. It's officially the crack of dawn. Where am I? <laughs> Why is everyone wake up like, where am I? Why am I here? Are those sheep? Mm, glasses. Glasses. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I'm not surprised they probably wake up at the crack of dawn. They probably thought that, oh, I'll wake up in the morning, you know, probably around like 9 or 10. No, like the moment the sun cracks over the horizon, we wake up. I suppose none of you are used to waking up quite this early. Porridge? Is that what that is? This is delicious. I concur. It is quite a milk Yes, I was right. It is porridge. Well, I guess we make it with the sheep's milk and salt curd meat. Sheeta and Lily made it fresh for you themselves. Yeah, I helped. Wow, that young and you're already better cooks than me. I really need to get this recipe from you too. Oh, okay. Well, first thing we can do is... Your friends all seem like such nice people. It would seem the winds have blessed you with their guidance. I think so too. Okay, let me give you this. Return to center. Uh, the center gate, maybe. We'll be heading to gather some medical herbs. Oh, and there's even a request from Sender Gate. It looks like you've chosen tasks that will help us become familiar with the islands. That's the idea. We'll love find the choosing tasks that will give you a nice sweeping overview of the life here. As I said yesterday, you should be able to complete all these requests in the southern reaches of the highlands. Understood. Thanks again. Alright, we've got work to do. So we need to finish all these tasks and return here by noon? Yep. We'll be having lunch back here in the settlement. Also, I wouldn't recommend leaving Sam without a horse. The hounds are vast. I'd hate if any of you got lost or clubs there because you had it on foot. Thanks, that's true. We best pay heed to where we're going. Hmm. May the blessing of the winds and the gods be with you. Take care, everyone. Sam continues three useful facilities. The elders' home as an orbital factory, trading post, lodging yard. Okay. So we. Oh, well, I'm not surprised we have uh, a store here. Guys can now use S Craft Calamity Hawk. I wonder what Calamity Hawk does. I really just went back into the home. All the buildings look the same. Okay, there's that one. Elder's home. I have returned. Welcome back home, guys. Allow me to welcome your school friends too. Welcome back indeed. I see you got plenty of rest last night. It wasn't that hard after the warm welcome we received. We may not be here long, but we hope to learn much from the people of Nord. Oh ho, we're pleased to have you all here. 
It's no tradition to your creatures like family, so please make yourselves at home here. Oh yes, you also find a facility for all maintenance here. Please feel free to use as much as you need. Oh my, there's a machine over there perhaps? That's quite a surprise. Did someone come out here to set this up? You'll see soon enough, I guess. Aha, you're welcome to come by should you need anything else. I'll be praying to the winds and ice that you have a pleasant, comfortable stay. Thank you for your concern. Go out there and make the most of our field study after such a warm welcome. Let the resolution has seen your eyes. We'll come across as some good friends, guys. I couldn't possibly agree more. Where's the store at? Right. Okay. Nope. It's my turn. I've got this. It's my turn. It's my turn. Leave it to me. Here we go. This is our seventh store. They've recently started selling Aragonia weapons and tools from the Zender Gate to hunt with. Seems like we've only been using this place a lot while we're here. They seem to have a wealth of traditional accessories and norms for the lore too. Indeed, they're all rather lovely. Hmm, I might come back by myself later. Pretty sure I'll be able to find a nice souvenir here. Oh? Just who exactly are you sending that souvenir to? How about none of your business? My sister. I thought it would be a good way to get on her good side for once. We really get to see each other anymore since we started attending Sir Andrusha. Oh! Right, I forgot that you also had a little sister. <laughs> I'm so much jealous that she has such a thoughtful brother. I keep pressing the turbo button. So we're just food deliveries, basically what this is. Yeah, but I would be taking all of my money. Prevents KO. Or breaks afterwards.
2000? Ha. No, 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 no. Who needs it the most? Who has the lowest stats? I think Emma has the lowest stats right now. That's gonna take a chunk. You better appreciate this. Alright, off we go. Isn't there another... Okay, there we go. I was like, isn't there another place that we need to go? Okay, so basically just keep going straight. I know I saw another icon too. Oh, there you are guys. I see your friends are Academy are here. Good to meet you all. I'm Amir. This son is Doctor of Sorts. Sounds like a tough job. Even more if he happens to be the only one here able to fill the position. I know, right? Yes, I'm the doctor. The only doctor. It makes those sort of sins for essentially everyone here in the settlement. We're all heavily indebted to him. Come now. You all do far more than me. That's that aside, don't hesitate to stop by again while you're staying here. I'll provide you with anything you're looking for. Thanks! That'll be a big help. We're all, we'll be relying on you should the need arise. Well, that should be enough for introductions. If it's alright with you, can you move the topic of my request now? Of course. I'm going to explain then. I'm in the middle of whipping up some medicine for the horses here, you see. I'd like you co to collect a... For some reason, I can't say the, the medic... Oh my god, I can't say this word, so herb, I need a herb for, for that. Are the horses ill? Oh no, nothing like that. It's more of a vaccine to prevent a certain disease the horses here can catch. So it's an, epi an epidemic disease then? Yeah, the chances of disease spreading are always at their highest during the summer too, because of the intense heat. It's dangerous enough to be fatal if we leave it alone. That's awful. We can prevent it with proper treatment, however, correct? Yes, which is why I need you to collect some Eponia grass for me. Just look for some plants with yellow flowers in the southern region of the highlands. We shouldn't have too much of an issue finding with guys around at least. In terms of how many I need, I think five should do it. Let me just note that down. Okay, got it. We should make haste then. Hmm, we'll head out to Amir now. Thanks, and good luck. I feel like there's more here. But we'll deal with that later. Right on to the southern region of the highlands. Yes. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let's ride. Press O to dismount the horse. Oh, so you can dismount. Okay. In order to mount it again, approach it and press the X button. You can also mount your horse from the navigation menu by pressing the triangle button. Use this when you're, unsh when you're unsure where it is. In order to enter combat monsters, simply burn to them on the horse or approach them with, and then press X. Okay. Neat. And we'll do all this in the next video. Yes, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I've run out of time. But we will again ride off into this beautiful countryside and fulfill all the missions in next time. If you guys like this video or this series, then please do not hesitate to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Bye! See you later!